Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is been your true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Nuka World Level 1 Survival, where last time we kicked off with a little bit of a visit here to the World of Refreshment, and we cleared out the inside. Today, the outside. That's a little bit more tricky, but luckily, thanks to the end of last time, I've brought some big toys to help out with that, but let's just get inside right now, because apparently the sky is full of radiation, and that's generally bad. See, the interesting thing about this area is, now I've done the inside, the inside is, well, easily the easier bit. Which is, you know, everything's scattered around, you just need to take out a few at a time. You've got places to snipe from if you want to, you can kind of creep around corners. If you've got blitz, you can basically teleport around corners. All very, very useful indeed. Outside, however, it's much more of a giant cluster flip. All of the Myalogs are going to be all around, or rather Nucalogs, sorry, to give them their proper title, of course. All of the Nucalogs are going to be around one big area together, and there's also going to be a Nucalog Queen popping up. So if I get swarmed, I can't really do much, because I won't have a sneak attack and all of that good stuff. Basically, it wouldn't work very well. Also, I need to totally get one bottle cap off your body. Very, very nice indeed. So what I need to do is, I need to find a good place to hold out or sneak against these bastards. And I think a good starting point would be... Yeah, if I headed through here, it actually snuck out up top, start at the roof, work down... Then at least, even if I do get swarmed, I can kind of bottleneck them and run back inside the factory if need be. Ooh, three times dirty water, I'll have that, thank you. But yeah, this door right here, just down from the control room, if this is the door I think it is, this should bring me, yeah, outside onto the balcony. I'm going to sneak three, I'm hoping that'll be good enough, no one will immediately see me. Okay. Here we are, outside. Bloody rad storm still continuing, because of course it is. Uh, and yeah, if right now I just go into third person, I'll be able to get a better view as to what's going on, which is, you know, what, I'm just going to do some rad eggs. I'm just going to do one dose of rad eggs together with some purified water. It'll be fine. There we are. That helps. Now, yeah, I can see Nucleux. Nicely, they are kind of floating around very obviously. Now, over this way is... That's a turret. Okay, that's actually even better. Let's leave that there, because the only way to get up here from the ground uh, is to go up the steps, starting there, past the turret. Turrets and nucleics are presumably not aligned with each other. Also, of course, the moment is the Radex, the flipping Radstorm clears, of course it flipping did. Yeah, they won't be aligned with each other, because the Assaultrons are willing to attack the nucleics. So what I need to do here is, uh, if at all possible, sneak up top while staying hidden. Because up top here, in the third person camera, I should be able to get to him is... There he is. Oh. Okay, now. Nuclear King. Looking, you know what? I'm going to do some drugs for him. One dose of Psycho Buff. Don't get addicted. Didn't get addicted. Good. And only parched as well. Now. Go for him. Much better. Four. There we go. Nice and healthy dose of XP. Needs to a leveling up. Marvellous. Now that's very, very good indeed. We'll take care of that in a second. Grab the meat off you. There's another one up top here. I'd like to clear out the upstairs first. Once we've cleared out the upstairs, clearing out the rest of this down here is much more doable. I think we're okay for now. Yeah, I think this bit's safe. And the other one is... He's round over there somewhere. Hang on, this area is... Ah! Okay, I could have also got to him by going through there and around, but I'm pretty sure now the easier way to take care of him will just be, yeah, to head down onto the the roof here. There's another building. Um, Unfortunately, he's... Wait, are they not... They should be quest markers by now, or maybe that only is for the last few. Uh, Yeah, I think it's just around the corner... Here, there's a... Or is it down a level? Hang on, I'm lost for a second. No, I think it's down one level. I need to go down one level to... Yeah, this building right here. I'm just going to check I can't actually set this as a quest if it's not already. Yeah, the Grand Tour. I should set that as a quest. Because then this will be... No, it's still not flipping show me quest markers. Well, that's just bloody inconvenient. Uh, Yeah, there's one. Who I believe is... Oh, he's close. He's close, and I think he's... Oh, 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 okay. Go, go, go. Just go for him, just go for him. I didn't realize there was a door there. Still a sneak attack. Okay, good. He goes down. 
Nice and quick and quiet. Lovely. Now, I wanted him to go down because, aside from R, wooden crates are the best things. Wooden crates will just contain flipping frag grenades, and frag grenades are great. Up here, we have got ourselves. They hit Boston, a note, more importantly, a password. The note they hit Boston is about how they hit Boston, by the way. Honestly, you could probably have guessed that. Also, and this I did not know about, or rather I'd forgotten, mattress up top. An actual bed. Oh, beds are so rare. So bloody rare in Nuka World. That's fantastic. So, now I've got a safe spot up here, which is beautiful indeed. How many throwables do I have right now, by the way? Uh, I have got... Let's go over to weapons. Five frag grenades. That's not bad. Five frag grenades I will take... I've also got, yeah, up here, I've got myself, well, honestly, without the sneak attacks, we're going to struggle. How many have we actually got here? We've got you over there. Two in the water, at least. I saw a one over there as well. So that's four minimum, plus the queen. I think there's going to be more over in that sort of an area. So, I suspect we're looking at more like five. Yeah, there's two down there. Okay. The thing is, how many shots do I have with this? Three shots with the Nuka Nuka launcher. What I'm feeling like I probably ought to do is... I can probably, probably do a decent job here. Not great, and I don't have a... Ooh. That's a concern. I actually need a critical... I need a critical, ideally, because I'd like to use the critical to take out the queen. So let's just go for you. Nice and quick. And that's the face. Good. Sneak attack. Caution. But they're going to struggle to find me up here on the roof. Reload nice and quickly. Yeah. They don't know where I am. And you two are standing conveniently close together. One grenade for you. There we are, that should have done good work, because in general, you guys are caution, still not danger. What do I have that I could throw down there, that I could potentially do a little bit more on the damagey side? Well, I've got heavy operators and a ton of ammo for it, but unless I see them scuttling over in... Unless I see them scuttling over in that direction, which is exactly where I'm seeing them scuttle right now. They are scuttling in that direction. If I see Nucleurks here coming up these stairs, hunting me down. That's- Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I think I just found them. I think I just found them. I think they're, they're here, actually. Um, how many are there? Oh. Nucleot King's the fastest. Okay, we need to just take out him quickly. Nucleot King, he needs to go down. One, two, and three, and then immediately back off, and this hasn't gone exactly as I was hoping for, no. Okay, one, there's an extra nuclear king I wasn't expecting down on the ground, I think. Okay, that's fine. Thank goodness for that little mattress there. So, we need to think about this more carefully, because, yeah, this... This is just a big, dangerous, open area. If I could get two of them together, I might just be willing to drop a nuke -a nuke on you. Because I've got three of those, and honestly, I need one for the queen. And then after that, that's pretty much all I'm going to be needing this thing for, broadly. So, from... Danger. Why danger? Why danger? Who's... Who could have seen me? Wait, what? Who saw me and where are they coming exactly? Okay, hang on. Hang the flip on here. How did you all know to come... Right. Get around here. Prepare for a gallant last stand. Actually, why just stand on top of here? Can they even get to me? <laughs> they probably can't climb, you know. Hang on, this is worth thinking about. I might be able to outwit them with the ancient martial art of standing on top of a waist-high thing. Now I'm back to hidden. Wherever it is they ended up, they lost me almost immediately. Okay. So, oh, oh. Hang on, guys. One grenade there. And they managed to get away. Fine. Going to be coming at me now. Oh, hang on. There's a whole bunch of you. This works. This works. You're all clustered. You're all clustered, aren't you? Yeah, you know what? You're really nice and clustered. That'll do some good work. Can you even get to me up here? No, you can't! You stupid, stupid bastards! Good! Excellent! Okay, I've found a good trick for dealing with this area. <laughs> the moment you step on top of here, you're officially outside of where the nucleos can go, so they just kind of give up. Right, now I must have done some good work. 
to these guys at this point. How many left? There's you lot. Right. No! Ow, ow, ow! And now I've got a crippled leg. Okay, I didn't do that well. Okay, I'm on to a good thing here. Luring them up and then picking them off could work. I should have used a nuke nuke, actually. That would have worked fine. Right, let's just grenade you right now. Yeah. There we go. That's some good work to you. They now start scampering, but are they scampering? Yeah, I think they're scampering in the right direction. I just need to figure out what their approach is. Because if I can get them to all cluster like crazy, one well-placed nuke might work. Is it up to... I think it's up to here. I think they're coming... Yeah, they're coming right by this path right here. So just, yeah, one you... Oh, you're the you're that guy. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go over to that, because I know I can finish you off. Uh, ah, but if I finish you off, then... Okay, I need to get some distance. Basically, if I can just sprint to lead this guy further up, then he's going to get me with... I think I just managed to Vats defense my way past his attack by a lucky coincidence there. Uh, yeah, he needs to hurry it up. Because if he could hurry it up, then potentially, if he just gets far enough ahead from the others, I can take him out uh, before the others show up. That guy's going really fast, mind. Okay, you know what? Screw that. Now, that will hopefully stun those guys for a bit. One... And two and three. And now start backing off in a hurry. And now prepare to prepare to drop down. The nuclear queen has spawned. Good. That works for me. Now I just need to get into a good safe place. Up here is fine. But if she sees me, she will be able to... You don't want to be over there, do you? Do you actually want to be over there? Can you... Can you actually get to me? Oh. Oh, oh dear. Possibly they can. Okay, this is going to take a while, but I think this might actually... One of them's going to get to... No! One of them can get to me! One of them got up top. Don't worry, it's just my arm. I only need, like, one of those. It's fine. Right, go over here. Get myself a really, really big gun and prepare. Boom! That will do the job. Oh, that didn't do the job at all. Right, reload faster. Reload faster! That did the job! Yes, it did! <laughs> I'm very almost dead, but it's fine. That worked. That's beautiful. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Kind of. For a certain kind of, you know, volume of worked. Right, so two nukes, but they're all dead, so that's good. Now I'm just going to need some water and some food. Now, grab this absolutely in no way heavily irradiated meat. So, you are all dead. Tragically, none of you were legendaries. That would have been a nice, easy legendary pick-off. Now, just to figure out what's left. Because I suspect what's left is indeed, yes, just the queen. Uh, no. No, 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 There's something else there because there's still two marks on the map. There's... Is, is that it over there? Is there one there? I think that's one there. Yeah, I see you down there. The one survivor down there, but... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... Oh. I'm gonna hit that guy with a sniper shot. Because if I can hit him with a sniper shot, if I can lure him up, I can vax him to get my critical up. Because I need the critical just to finish off the queen nice and safe. So the queen's just over there. That's fine. Nice, big, terrifying queen. Definitely don't do anything to her. That nuke look is just determined to face away from me, isn't he? What a bastard. You can't walk away forever. Eventually, you're going to run out of territory. There you go. Oh, almost. No, come on. Here he comes, and... Boom. Right. Sneak attack. He needs to come over to me, but the queen most certainly cannot get up top. Right now, there we go. That's uh, almost caution fading. I need him to... Basically, I, I want him to find me, pretty much. So he's now... Yeah, he's totally going for the steps now. That's fine. So he's now going for the steps. I need to go for... Yeah, reload. He's coming up here. I can see his progress. because And the queen is spitting acid. But that's fine. She can't get up top. I'm going to see where this guy is. This guy is now coming up here. Now, can I... Okay, the problem is I need to actually be able to kill him. That's that's the other problem I've got here, which is... Okay, this might be a bigger problem than I anticipated, actually. So, one, and two, and three, and 
four, and that's not good enough. And five, and okay, hang on. Psycho Jet. One dose of Psycho Jet will make this work. I'm parched, but it's fine. No. Go. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. But no, one more, one more. Come on. Go. Kaboom. He's not. Wait. I haven't got the critical yet, have I? Oh, no, you bastard. Oh, God. Okay. So, I've cleared the exterior. Problem is, I'm crippled again, and I still don't have the bloody crits. Right, okay, hang on. I need to... I need to find something to kill. And when I can hear the sound of acid still being spat there, the queen is most definitely still suspicious of me. What I should have done there, totally, is just done a new quantum instead to get my action points back in order to make sure I got the crit. Because, yeah, now... Now I've got a bit of difficulty on my hands. Wait, hang on. No, 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 no. No, I don't, because I know where there is still... Yeah, hang on. Hang the flip on. I saw this earlier. I saw over here a turret. And all of the nucleics have gone the other way. They haven't gone this way yet. So, all I need to do is get a sneak attack on the turret that's around the corner here. And we will be good to go. One critical into the face of the queen with this. We should be in good shape. Round here, round here, please still be there. Oh, you're still there. I love you. You are now my favourite turret. Assuming there's not like a rocket turret around the corner that's now going to murder me. But no, it would appear not. And I've got critical. I've got a critical and a nuke nuke launcher and exactly one nuke remaining. <laughs> Add all these things together. I think we've got something good going on here. Right, up here. Make sure we've actually got... A clean line of sight, because, yeah, this big projectile can actually hit, like, things in the way. So make sure we're in a good position for this. Then I just need a 1% chance to hit, and we're fine. You're now facing the wrong way. Well, of course you bloody are. How much damage is this supposed to do? I mean, it says none, but, yeah, the amount of damage it says it's going to do is the amount of damage of the actual impact from the shell. Most of the damage from this thing is from the actual explosive, which I assume is also doubled up by the crit, I would guess. Right? Hopefully. I've come around the other side to get a shot at her. She's now walking away again. This queen is just basically trolling me at this point, but that's fine. You have to turn around sooner or later. Okay, boom. Okay, now go for... There we are. The spouts. Could go for the spouts. No. 2% to the head. Critical. Boom. And in comes the nuke. And that's only done half her health. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so that's, um... That's not good enough, apparently. <laughs> that's... That's marvellously good news. Okay. So, um... But may as well just kind of, you know, shoot her a bit. Just slowly wear her down. She'll just basically spit up at me. If I could basically target the spouts a little bit, I might be able to take care of that at least. But yeah, if she hits me, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, actually. I think if she hits me, that's it. I just die immediately. She's just vaguely spitting. She doesn't actually have a... No, she's just... She's she's dripping from the old spout, but she's not actually ready to go yet. Um... I think she's heading over in this sort of a direction. That was probably a miss. Right, there we go. I'll do a bit of damage. Boom, that'll have done something good. Yep, she's spitting with acid now. She doesn't actually have an exact location, but yeah, enemies will blind fight. I like the fact enemies blind fight in this game, even if they didn't know where you were. That was a nice touch. Right. And she doesn't know where I am. Start looping round so she's not blind firing at me precisely. And now I can start... Oh dear, her flipping acid's everywhere. Watch out for that. Uh, yeah, now I can head over here. Start getting some shots at her from over here. Lovely. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Admittedly, I'm hitting her carapace right now, which is barely going to be doing anything. But if she's being shot from behind, she'll totally go... And ah! Ah! Okay! Never mind! Never mind! She apparently had a very clean shot at me this whole time. Right, go over to the Quantums, because they're the only item in survival mode that can heal fast enough to counteract her poison. So, do that. Now she's over there somewhere. Watch out for the... Yep, yeah, okay. So now we know she's somewhere in that sort of an area. And boom, 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 boom. And start running. Okay. If 
Fire a few times. This is what this sniper rifle is actually good for. Put a few shots in her. Start running immediately afterwards. And boom, 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 boom. And the moment you see the spit coming in, start running. Those nodules are deadly. But she can't get up here and she can't even necessarily see me. So this is kind of pretty much just a war of attrition. And I will win this sooner or later. Oh, this could be a good angle. This could be a great little angle, actually. Just shoot it between this thing. That might actually block her acid spits. Oh, yeah. Another good angle here. Good angle there. Good, good, good. Wearing her down. Except I know for a fact she can kind of spit through things. So I probably don't want to hang around here too long. Because sooner or later she'll just find an angle she can just spit at me. Yep, fine. Here we go. And she get a good angle at her if she just wants to come a little bit more. There we are. That's, that's, that's good. That's, and when I say that's good, I don't think I actually hit her once. That's good mind, yep. There we go, in comes the acid. Back away. My ammo supplies are getting really, really worryingly low around here. <laughs> That's actually going to be a concern at some point. I'm actually running out of ammo. Because, uh, yeah, the heavy operators, I've thrown about 100 bullets at her. I think she's still got about 20% of her health left, damn it. Still this point. Reposition over to this side of the factory. That's a good shot. Right there. That's a good shot. Go for another. And don't go for another because the spit is on its way. The spit's on its way. Go! Lovely. Because, yeah, even once it's on the ground, if you run over it once it's down, you get poisoned for the full amount anyway. So, got to be careful. By the in-game clock, I've been doing this for about three hours. <laughs> Minnie has been engaged in a three-hour running battle against this monstrosity. Meaning she probably wishes she just actually just, you know, kept two nukes for this business. Right, go for the spout. That's the claws. That's another good shot there. That's probably the... I don't see the acid incoming. Possibly the... Yep, there's another sneak attack. There's the acid incoming. Go, 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 go. Move out of the way. Lovely avoided that spray. Also, there's just a spare quantum up here. That's nice. I think I missed this room last time I was passing through. Right, back to hidden. That's good. That means I can get the three-time sneak attack on you. Lovely. Probably get another, yeah, one more shot in. In comes the acid. Go. Now we've got ourselves, yeah, this feels like a decent angle. And go, 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 go. Oh, I think she did. She went down. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that operator sniper rifle. That does a good job. Damn it. Whew. Hoo, 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 hoo. Blimey. Right. Avoid the poison. Don't die now. That'd be really embarrassing. Looks like, yeah, Dawn's light is starting to appear here. <laughs> We've actually pretty much got to Dawn. We've got down to only 18 bullets left in this bloody thing. Blimey. Okay. Back over to the shiny slug. Could have gone down and probably finished her off by hand, but that would have been really, really dangerous if I didn't nail it first time. Yeah, that would have gone horribly wrong. Maybe we're just happy we did it this way. Let's go get the meat off her to make sure that doesn't disappear. Because that should be your lot for this area. Marvellous. So, yeah, what have you got on you? Still sort of dribbling there. Lovely. So, yeah, 45. Useful. Queen nuclear meat times 5. Quite frankly, feels ungenerous. And, yeah, a pipe weapon and left arm for the combat armour. That feels extremely not generous to me. Now, first bit of business. Up top, let's just actually assign this place and get our reward for it all. Also, I've had a flipping level up in the bag this whole time, haven't I? I could have taken Rifleman too. And made that 20% faster. Oh, well, never mind. Live and learn. Because, of course, basically, this is now going to decide. Well, actually, it doesn't decide for certain who I'm going up against in the power plant at the very end of the DLC. Because I think, like, if you were to favour... Like, even if you gave two lands to one gang, two lands to another, and one to the third, I think then if you take the third gang that had only one land, and you basically give them all the territories, when you go back to the Commonwealth to deal with that bit of this mission, I think you can make up for it. I'm not 100% sure, though. I haven't actually checked that. But regardless, I think we're going to make our decision right now. So, we've given the operators two lands. We've given the operators two lands. We definitely don't want to be fighting the operators. That leaves the pack, or indeed, the nasty, nasty disciples. And uh, the disciples are most likely to be using melee weapons. And I would rather be taking on enemies that are using melee weapons than guns. So, I want to take out the disciples, not least as, yeah, basically, Nisha doesn't seem like a very nice person. And her gang doesn't seem like a group of particularly nice people either. So, uh, I'm going to award this place to the pack. Boom. There we go. Job has been 
done. But we're not quite done here, or indeed with all the other land yet, because, well, I realize there's one other thing we can do. You're not really supposed to do it, but I think it will work for me on this occasion. Number one, head back inside the factory for a minute. We've got two things to do there. Now, obviously, we did indeed pick up a password up on the roof. That means I can get into this terminal even without expert uh, hacking. Crack that open. Security door control. Open up that, please. Lovely. So we'll get over to those security doors momentarily. But first, Jess, I need to nip down here into the quantum area. Because there's one thing I passed by earlier. So I wanted to grab it here at the end when we can talk about it a bit more. This guy round here at the bottom of the quantum, together with actually, he's actually got himself a, uh, a sleeping bag. Oh, no, don't worry. That's nothing. That's just a couple of security terminals. Has a star core. Now, star cores, you probably thought we were about done with, but uh, there is one thing I wouldn't mind actually doing as well. I'll also get another little bit of stuff there. Very nice. And a chest. Why the hell not? Actually, you know what? This just tops up some of my supplies. Also, plasma grenade times two. Pretty damn good. So, back to that security door I opened. Because, of course, previously we have passed by, towards the end of the ride round here, a lovely, lovely suit of power armor that we couldn't get into. Which I've just run the wrong way away from. Hang on, no, it's back this way. Here we go. It was actually right by the door. I just kind of basically started running in the wrong direction immediately. This door is now open. That means that this beautiful thing right here, T51 Class F. Not bad. T51, not exactly the best thing in the world, but F class is pretty damn decent. So yes, this here, very, very much better than the crap little overboss armor I've got waiting back home for me. Plus, it comes with its own fusion cord. Nice. Always good when the tank is full up. Plus, of course, it's a full set of armor, which gives you plus three agility. Which, to my mind, is a very, very good thing to have on a suit of power armor. So, I'd say, let's just step inside there for a moment. Probably my hat will kind of clip through the armor for a minute. Yes, yes it does, but that's fine. Everything's under control. Is it keeping happening right now? No, the hat now ceases to exist. So here we are. We've now got some really, really damn cool new color armor. I like this stuff. It looks really nice. I like the way it looks. And yeah, it is nice that even at a really low level, because I am, and speaking of which, I should level up. Yeah, indeed, barely level 20. And indeed, actually, most of the way to the next level already. Uh, yes, we do indeed have... F-class armor. So it's actually kind of spawned, even at a low level, really, really good quality stuff. I'm not sure what the rules are for exactly how it picks up when, but yeah, actually, I'm pretty impressed that it's actually a T-51F, even though I'm a low level. That's very, very nice indeed. Now, what can we get here that's good, if anything? Action Girl wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but to be honest, I feel like I'm best served just by continuing to boost endurance up to nine. Lovely. So, that is a new suit of power armor to add to my collection. You, my good man, can most definitely be retired as a result. This is much, much superior. In fact, let's just check this. Let's just have a look, see, say, at the, uh, the torso. 340, 260, 300 rad resistance. 320, 320, 300. Actually, you know what? The difference is not as huge as I was expecting it to be. But that extra damage resistance is welcome. Plus the health here, 320. Yeah, the health 620. That's the big difference right there. It's actually the huge increase in the health of the piece, so the arm is easier to maintain. So that's Star Core, because the way this game works is, of course, yeah, once you've completed all of the Star Core, well, you need 20 just for the sake of actually, uh, yeah, getting the world officially marked as yours and being able to move on if you want to. There's 35 total. If you get all 35, you get something good. You get to actually unlock the lovely little uh, locker with that beautiful bit of power armor there. One of only, actually, I believe, uh, the only completely unleveled spawn of XO1 armor in the entire game. All other, actually, think there might be one other. There might be one more. XO1 is normally locked behind, uh, what is it, level 27. Now, there's a couple of places where it can spawn guaranteed, but you have to be at a certain level for it to happen. This is possibly, I believe, the only completely unleveled spawn of XO1 armor in the game. I think there might be one more, but I can't remember where it is. It's the top of my head. Now, the way the game basically treats this as a reward for you completing the entire DLC is uh, one of them is up there. 
inside that tower. Now, you can't get into that tower until the power's back on. Power's not back on until the DLC is completed, either because you've basically killed all the gang leaders and then gone and turned it on, or because you've kind of taken care of the final gang leader, even if you do stand with the gangs. Therefore, the game is saying, this is your reward for completing the DLC. Except... There is a small problem in the game code that I actually encountered. I'd forgotten about this. I'd read about it before, then I completely forgot about it. I was actually planning for this until people reminded me in the comments. Which is the star core in the junkyard respawns every four to five days. It's not supposed to, it just does. And they never patched it out. So as a result, you can get yourself extra star cores by basically just letting them regrow over there. In fact, there's nothing to stop you basically getting all 20 that way. That would be a little bit cheating. I'm not just going to go back over and over. Not as it would take a while because I can't fast travel in this mode. However, as a result, an extra star core I'm not supposed to have out of there. Together with the star core I've just got from uh, the bottling plant, that is all of the star cores plus an extra freebie that are actually dotted around the wider nuclear world area. Plus one extra, yeah, counting for the one up there. Which means now if I actually finish off the rest of the galactic zone, that should be 35 total. So let's just plug in what I've actually got here. Up to 21. And I think I should have another one on my person. Possibly another two, in fact. Hang on. Uh, no, just 22. So I've got no star cores right now. I'm up to 22. 13 more are required to actually finish this off. And you can see there, the game is now getting confused because it's detecting minus one outside of the galactic zone because I've already got the spare. So that means now the one the galactic zone grounds I haven't picked up, I can basically skip. But actually, what's the one of the galactic zone grounds I haven't got that's not the... Oh dear, I don't know. Right, okay. I know where most of them are. There is one in the Starlight Interstellar Theatre. That's behind the, hopefully, now friendly star tender, but I'm not 100% sure about that. <laughs> And six in the Robco Battle Zone, and indeed another five in the Nuke Galaxy. Clear all these guys out, we will be looking in much, much better shape. But yeah, I'm not sure whether the one in the Galactic Zone grounds that isn't in the tower is. So we'll have to figure that out as time goes by. I will hopefully remember where that's going to be. Well, let's start off with where we know we need to go. Robco Battle Zone, a good five or six to get here. This is also the only area where I'm not sure whether there might still be violence. Of course, all of the staff bots will be lovely and friendly. That's all fine now. But inside the arena, logically, they're supposed to fight. So I'm not sure whether they might still fight. Okay, number one, hidden at the back of the shop at the back here. Number two, up in the control room here. Lovely, including actually automatic laser pistol. I'd forgotten that was there. Now, downstairs to the basement, where I'm assuming everything is financially... Ooh. You're missing! I could have sworn there was supposed to be a great big star tender like robot there, but it's just gone. Okay, fine. I'll grab ourselves a star core. Don't forget the Robco Battle Zone key down here as well. Ooh, also... Oil canister, bit on the heavy side, but I've put the Nuka Nuke launcher away because, of course, I'm not going to have anything for that for quite some time. So I may as well. Ooh, economy wonder glue. Probably useless, but I couldn't possibly leave it. Key lets you access the backstage area here inside the ticket booth, which is worth it just for a big pile of tickets if that's your cup of tea. Sadly, no star core here. In which case, yeah, now the bit where it gets interesting. So if I just head in here and then cut through here, the show will begin, presumably. Or will it? Okay. Maybe it... Maybe it will now. Back out? No. Okay. The show hasn't begun. Intriguing. Maybe the show just can't begin. I thought the show always began, but apparently, once you've hit that, the show simply cannot begin. That's almost sad. Ah, well that was easier than I was expecting. The one I was missing was literally just upstairs. So I could have got that at any flipping time because I already had the manager's key. Because the manager's key is just in here by the novice locked door. So basically all the trouble I got into while I was doing this the first time round for whatever the last call was. Yeah, I could have basically avoided and not bothered doing one of those calls. Because there was one just here in the display case. The easiest one of mini nuke. Beautiful, I'll be converting that into a nuke a nuke. Now, back to the Interstellar Theatre. Last one to pick up there as well. And I'm assuming you're super friendly and lovely now. Yeah? Hello there. Okay, you're still vaguely talking about security operations. I'm just going to prepare to run. Nope, we're good. Lovely. 
Now, very quickly, shove all of these into here. And we should be, if I'm remembering correctly, down to nothing left but the actual Nuka Galaxy. No, embarrassingly, I've missed one inside Robco. I'll have to go back and grab that on the way to the Nuka Galaxy. Oh, I did miss a suppressed advanced 10mm in here before as well. Oh, that's worth having. Oh, yes, that's very good. Well, ish, you know, not that good these days, but it'll flipping do. Lovely. It's nice to have a silenced weapon. I like having a silenced weapon. They're badass. It's even got a prop little reflex scope on it. It's everything I could possibly want. Ah, there it is. There's a second one upstairs in the control room I completely missed. Sorry. Okay, so, rain clearing, lovely day, let's go stand inside fake space for a bit. Five to get out of here, and without the power running, this could be interesting, because yeah, without the power, it might be a bit tricky to actually access some of this stuff. Okay, let's activate emergency lighting mode on the terminal and the station. That will hopefully help me see what's going on at least a little bit. Yeah, now I can... See a bit better. It's not so much a dark illusion anymore. Good, good. Now, I've already cleared out. Yeah, I've already come through here and cleared out a few of these. I just need to get another five. And yeah, with the emergency lights on, this is going to be a lot easier. Good, good, good. Because now I can see all the side rooms a lot more easily too. Yeah, this was as far as I got last time. That gap right there, I found that. So this is as far as we've got. Now if I can just stick to this bit and stay off the actual ride itself... Yeah, you, you don't need to do the dramatic thing right now, game. It, it's fine, because one, the ride's not running, and two, the lights are on. Okay, and three, I've already seen a fake one in a junkyard. Oh, there's definitely not... No, there's a... There's a person there, but this is... I don't like this one bit! Okay, it's fine. You better have been guarding something good. Ooh, three frag grenades. Yeah, you know what you were. You're forgiven. Right, but you didn't have a star core, so not that forgiven. And jump! Ooh, that would have been certain death if I'd missed. So, time to take the elevator right down to the bottom. Because despite the fact power's not running, like, a bit of power's still running. Some power's still running, just not all of it. Also, always open the hatch. It's always nice to see what's going on outside the elevator. Normally an elevator shaft, but you know, it's nice to know for certain. Now, firing gone over there, but I'm pretty sure it can't go for me in any capacity. I should be nice and safe here. Here we go now. We've got these lovely guys here. So that's number one. Four more to go. And I don't think there's any... I might need to climb up to get the one up top there. I don't think so. I think we're all right. Interestingly, this guy has taken a tiny bit of damage. I think possibly if I watch long enough, he would eventually die. Also, I'm probably not standing in the right place. I don't want to get hit by this. You know, just in case. I haven't found the star core, but yeah, around the back of the ship back here... Plasma cartridges 556 five, and a skeleton with an actual minigun. So someone was holding out back here. That's cool. Okay. Two up here, upstairs from where I was. I might have missed one over there. That seems to be okay for now. We may have to go back to that area. I swear there was one hidden around the back, but there's a lot of stuff hidden around the sides around here. So it's quite a difficult area to find everything in. Nope. Pretty sure we've just done a full circuit here. That's the leaving place. The game's playing some dramatic victory music, which I feel like isn't earned, but okay. Uh, the plus side, uh, yeah, got myself the employee key there. And got myself some extra experience for murdering you. And also, of course, the Nuka Girl outfit. Very, very nice indeed. But yeah, I want to keep going. Oh, wait, hang on. Almost missed a Starcore there. Starcore number three. So I'm kind of hoping there's now going to be two... In the final office, I can get round to at this point. Because, yeah, now I can get round to this office also. Wooden box. Oh, yes. Throwables. Everyone likes throwables. Shortcut back to the beginning. Now I can access the employee areas. Uh, I'm looking for, yet yeah, one. And yet more employee keys. But come on. Please let there be one in here. Please let there be one in here. Please let there be one in. Get out of my way. Get out of the way. Oh, there it is. Okay, that should be... That should be a lot. That should be everything also. Some free useless stuff that I don't want and will never use. Now, with all of that, let's get these final few plugs in. We're often actually finding the spot to plug them in. is often the most difficult bit. It can be a little bit hard to see where they go. So, 30, 31, 32. The machines start coming back to life. 
33. 34. And where's the last hole? There it is, down at the bottom. 35. The mainframe has indeed finished being repaired. Because technically, yes, I've taken advantage of a glitch. And like, you know, I wouldn't do that normally. I wouldn't do it and you only live once. But I would like to show off that it is actually available. So the Starcore network is indeed now showing 35 star cores currently installed. No other star cores sticks in range. Because yeah, now it just basically, once you've plugged them all in, it starts just figuring out how many are there. But obviously, like when it gave you the minus one, the way it's doing the mathematical check is it's figuring out, okay... How many have been acquired from particular areas? So in the case of the outside world, it says, okay, you've acquired six. How many is the total? Five. Okay, five minus six. There must be minus one remaining. <laughs> so yeah, just an odd little maths error there, which is fun. But all of them there. Protocol, display case access, please. Uh, open the display case. And I have leveled up from that too, because it's given me a lovely little bit of experience for that. Open you come. And despite the fact that I'm only level 20 or so, X01 Quantum 5. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, 800 health. 800 health, 400 damage resistance. Oh, it's a thing of just beauty, isn't it? Yeah, this sexy, sexy girl. What's the effect again? Yep, action point refresh speed with all pieces equipped. A very, very nice thing to have. To be honest, not my favourite. Like, these are really, really cool bits of armour. In some ways, I just prefer, like, you know, normal armour just with military paint. Because I think the strength is better for melee characters. But yeah, let's just do a little bit of sprinting. I know this is burning the fusion core. Calm down in the comments down there. But yeah, over here, that action point refresh speed is really, really damn high. I like that. And we have got ourselves... Oh, yes, some nice yellow headlamps there. We have got ourselves... Uh, maybe not quite, like, you know... I suppose, like, the ultimate bit of power armor insofar as it's probably one that the game is anticipating you'll, like, discover last. And it is X01. It's X01 Class 5. So, you know, this is probably what the game considers to be, like, you know, the ultimate bit of power armor in the game. And we have got it right flipping now. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This looks very, very nice indeed. Meanwhile, back at base, that mini nuke I found, of course, the mini nuke can now be converted with a quantum and a mini nuke into a nuke a nuke. So I've now got a nuke a nuke back on the cards. Beautiful. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, well, for the time being at least, Nuka World itself is done. We have reclaimed all of the lands. And that means there's only one thing we need to do next. With a nuke a nuke launcher on my shoulder and quantum infused armor protecting me, we are heading back to the Commonwealth that, in all fairness, we barely flipping know. <laughs> we know nothing about this place. We woke up in the post apocalypse and ran straight here. So it's time to head back to the Commonwealth and bring some lovely Nuka World brand justice to those bastards. I'm sure I can find somebody worthwhile of my one remaining nuke nuke. So, back to the Commonwealth next time, ladies and gentlemen. And beyond that, well, we are very, very close to the end of this here run now. Just a couple of parts to go, and then I can talk about my plans for the future. So that is coming very, very soon indeed, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Fallout 4 Nuke World with Level 1 Survival. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weaklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh, God, Germany, not again!